Okay, Scott Niedermeyer is making the pick. Seems like that Sharks fan that was cheering for Celebrini is not there anymore. From the Oshawa Generals, back in- What? Whoa! Whoa! Beckett's- Oh my goodness, okay. Um, the draft has started to open up here, folks. Beckett Seneca is third overall. Wow, okay. Uh, that was the buzz heading into this draft period. A lot of people were speculating that the Ducks could go with a huge swing, and Beckett Seneca is right there. 15th overall, consolidatedly ranked 9th overall in the league prospects, 11th by McKenzie and Button, 18th by Ferrari, 12th by Kennedy, 14th by McKeens. He was not supposed to go at the top of the draft if you had asked some of the scouting outlets, but man oh man, was this guy just a unicorn. 6'2", 181, right-handed guy, but you'll notice that his traits here are elite prospects. He is a lot of a dangler, he is a playmaker, he creates scoring opportunities with exceptional passing and vision, and he has very good technical skills and puck control. He is shifty and creative while also being strong defensively and offensively, reliable in all zones. Wow, Pat Verbeek went with a really skilled big guy. Beckett Seneca, had 68 points in 63 games played this recent season with the Oshawa Generals and 22 points in 16 games in the playoffs. He's one of the main guys we actually didn't make a Why I Want video about, but all in all with Seneca, I think the main idea that you could think about when it comes to him and his projectability, think a small guy, dangler type player in a big guy's body. He's got a lot of skill and he's got a lot of potential in being able to waltz around guys. But the question is, how well is that going to translate to the National Hockey League level? We'll have to wait and see. The scouting report and prospect says here that Seneca is an ankle-breaking winger who combines deft playmaking, manipulation, powerful net drives, and puck thievery skills to control the game. He's an overwhelmingly confident puck handler, grounded in solid technique with an unlocked top arm and fast twitch hands. As a playmaker, he manipulates opponents, works the give and go, identifies the right play, and connects with perfectly weighted passes, no matter the obstacle. This is a guy that has a really high ceiling, but honestly, it's tough to label where that is. He is so unique as a player, that combination of size and skill, that I guess the Anaheim Ducks are really shooting for potential here. This wouldn't be the first time. They went with Mason McTavish third overall a few years ago, now they're going with Seneca, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the first big shock of the 2024 NHL Draft. It is the Oshawa Generals Beckett Seneca getting taken by the Anaheim Ducks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Ashrolls 99, and bye.